Hi, welcome to Ray's Reads. Today we will be discussing Intimate Apparel by Lynn Nottage. Now, Intimate Apparel was set in 1905 and it focuses on the life of Esther. Now, Esther is a seamstress who creates Intimate Apparel and she's very successful at her job. She's pretty much like a made woman who is you know, a career woman who's smart, who's driven, and she has goals of saving up money for her ultimate dream. And she is also looking for a suitor, right? And I think it's important to realize during this time, that was a huge focus and a lot of the girls that came through as seamstresses were getting married. And so she kind of felt that loneliness and I wonder if she would have felt that much pressure if it was possibly set today and how different we are looking at the idea of marriage in terms of women mm -hmm. and so so esther is pretty lonely and she starts having letters sent to her by this man named george who knows a friend from her church and they start talking and she falls in love with this man even though she hasn't met him and so he asks her to marry him. And what she realizes when he finally meets her and they get married is that he isn't the man that she thought he was. And I think it was really interesting thinking about like this idea of possibly like catfishing that him, he had a, he paid someone to write the letters that he sent her. And they weren't necessarily from, you know, all of who he was. And Esther wasn't able to read or write, and she had someone writing letters for her. But I would say that her intent was to still talk about who she was and who she envisioned herself to be. But you do know in the beginning, when she um, is having a conversation with the white woman who she dresses, she writes in her first letter that she's beautiful and that she's dashing and she turns heads and Esther's like that's not the reality so in the beginning she does um lie I guess about her physical appearance and how that also affects how George sees her but I think that was this, there's a important story here where a lot of times you can have a lot of different things you can have a great career um, but we all want connection, right? And we all want to feel loved. And I think that Esther, in wanting to feel loved, settled. And she had to sacrifice so much in order to just even settle for this love that this man wasn't going to be able to love her correctly and ended up taking all of her money that she was saving for her dream. And it was really difficult story. It was a not a forgiving story, but at the end we see Esther, you know, pick up the pieces, go back to her seamstress job and just start over. And that's what it was. It was about, okay, I made this mistake, this dream that I had, I've just taken like 10 steps back. Okay, now I have to do some catching up and then continue to move forward. And I think it was such an interesting and like blunt way of saying, there's not really necessarily a happy ending here. It's a let's keep going, right? Like it's a it's about the journey and not the destination. And I think Lynn Nottage did such a great job of conveying that in the script. And I love her works. I've also read Crumbs from the Table of Joy. And just the way that she creates sets that are seamless to flow through and that within the script you can envision what she wants on a set and what it should look like and how these characters move in and out and so i really enjoy her work i really enjoyed this play and i think it's a great testimony of learning that life is a journey it's not a destination and that the journey can have some ups and it can have some downs but you keep going and so that was my main takeaway from Intimate Apparel. I hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video.